If you spent any time down on the National Mall this holiday weekend, chances are you saw the lines for the food trucks. Yeah, they're a lifeline for hungry tourists and people working downtown, but some of those trucks are not necessarily operating legally. There are special parking zone laws, which can mean big fines. But as Casey Nolan reports, the food truck owners are willing to eat into their profits in order to make a living. In the shadows of the symbols of democracy, every day thousands come to reflect and relax. But to get the flavor of what it's like to make a living on the mall. What is this like? Can we cut off real quick? Yeah, yeah. Give me one second. Talk to the folks in the food trucks. There were just some cops over there. Vendors on the National Mall say while they're taking orders, they're often getting tickets. All the time. Whenever they see you, they just find you. And then it's like sometimes for 100, 150, 200. DC has specific spots for licensed food trucks to park and do business. We pay money. We pay about ten to $11,000 a year for our DC permits, our DC license. But those permitted spots are blocks away in the business district. And with fewer people working in downtown offices post-pandemic, Vendors say to make money. How much is the falafel salad? Uh, I think 99. They need to be where the tourists are, and they're willing to pay the tickets to be here. In a month, a couple thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Because uh, every day you have a ticket. Sometimes. Is it because they're food trucks or? It's a bus zone. Bus zone. No box. Trucks are ticketed or even towed because they're in no parking zones. Thirty-eight dollar place. But food truck operators say most of the time they're fined for not feeding the meters or for parking in one spot for too long. You want combo? and for technically selling on the federal sidewalks when they pass food through their windows. Thank you. Thank you. Here on 7th Street, stand in the street, this is D.C. property. Step up on the sidewalk, now you're on federal property. It's the transaction on the sidewalk. They're, they're saying, oh, it's federal property. Oh, it's um, National Park Service property. You can't be doing that. The vendors also say they've seen park police arrest food truck operators. Two of my buddies got arrested uh, down there and they got their truck impounded. A spokesperson for the park police tells WUSA 9 without names and dates, they can't confirm any arrests, and most of the vendors we talked to were afraid to share that information. As for the local laws, D.C. confirms there are no city-designated food truck zones on the mall and says any food trucks parked in those areas do so illegally. But a spokesperson for the Department of Public Works added they are working on a solution with the multiple agencies that police the mall. It's annoying, you know what I'm saying? It's frustrating. Vendors we talked to say they would even pay more in fees if it meant they could do business in peace. All right, all good. I mean, that would be better for everyone, you know? It would be better for us and better for the cops. I feel like they're serving D.C. And with few other food options close by, the tourists we talked to are standing on the side of the food trucks. I mean, I got two kids, and they're like, we're hungry. Food is here. Let's eat it. It's a service that people want and need. Yeah. So I don't understand why that it's not a relationship they want to foster in some way. Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.